Hi, this is Niles Mativ for Money and Markets TV. Once again, Washington is sticking it to savers and retirees. First, it was interest rates, which are being kept so low that it's nearly impossible to earn a reasonable return from traditional investments like CDs, money markets, or treasuries. Then, it was the Middle Class Tax Relief and Job Creation Act of 2012, which actually makes things worse for Social Security. And now, it's another law with an innocent-sounding name the Surface Transportation Bill. It will allow employers to contribute less money into their pension plans. This year, there will be a $35 billion less going into employee retirement plans than originally expected, and that number will grow to $73 billion next year. So why is Washington further weakening the state of private pension plans? Simple, the contributions are tax deductible. So instead of going into retirement plans, the money will now go into federal coffers. All that money will be used to renew transportation projects, to save or create jobs, and to keep student loan interest rates at low levels. Because lawmakers know that that's likely to be the next bubble to pop. Of course, the legislation does have a provision aimed at getting the money back into the pension plans later, but I'll believe that when I see it. In the meantime, companies love the new law because it gives them another reason not to fund their plans, which were already woefully underfunded to begin with. In fact, as of 2009, four out of five private pension funds were considered underfunded by the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation, which is the government agency that takes over failed pension plans. To make things even worse, the PBGC itself has been underfunded since 2002. Right now, it's in the red by about $25.8 billion. So we have corporate plans that are underfunded. We have new laws that take even more money out of those plans. And we have the government-sponsored insurance for those plans without enough money to even pay the pensioners it's already covering. In other words, lots of promises and not enough money to back them up. And let me leave you with one final depressing fact. According to a new study, nearly half of all Americans are currently counting heavily on pensions for their retirements. Just like they're counting on Social Security, just like they're counting on Medicare, and just like they're counting on reasonable returns from their savings. In short, they're counting on Washington. I'm Niles Matip for Money Markets TV. Thanks for watching.